Alberta has made uh, significant investments in services to protect the most vulnerable. We've increased our spending on social programs significantly, and that has been done over the past five to ten years. For example, over the last five years, persons with developmental disabilities, PDD, just in that area alone, funding has increased 20%. Uh, 20% that converts to a $100 million increase. Uh, number of, of PDD supported individuals has increased by about 2% in that period. Spending on programs for foster parents has increased uh, every year over the last 10 years. But we simply can't continue to grow spending at that same rate. And yesterday, the Legislative Assembly passed Budget 2010-11, and that budget did provide for spending restraints in a number of departments. Yes, we remain optimistic for Alberta's future. However, we are just starting to emerge from the global recession, and all Albertans, all Albertans have tightened their belts. Budget 2010 meant our government made some tough decisions, tough, tough choices, tough decisions, but we minimized the impacts on programs uh, that deliver uh, services to the most vulnerable. In fact, within, within some department budgets, funding was increased, though the overall departmental budget may have been reduced. Children and youth services, seniors, employment and immigration were spared from the deepest cuts. However, holding the line or even modest reductions in these departments will have an impact on the ability of those departments and agencies to deliver services. Over the past year, we've been talking to delivery partners about how we can seek efficiencies and minimize the impact to clients. Our goal is to tighten spending from administration wherever possible. We recognize that it may mean some rationalization of services, and it may mean some services are reduced. But we have chosen a balanced approach. The balance, we've used the sustainability fund it's our cash surplus fund that we've set aside so that, uh, you know, we're going to dip into that fund so that we do not have to eliminate important programs, but we still have to be careful with our dollars. Now, core programs are being protected, but there may be some programs or services that will be impacted. But my objective and those of the ministers is to take whatever steps we can to minimize the impact to clients, and we know that as the economy improves, that demands in some departments will reduce, while uh, the demand in others may uh, always be there, no matter uh, what the economy has uh, to deliver over the next number of months.